Hey guys and here we are back with another video and one year later here we are once again to take a look at the best Android TV boxes available on the market right now. Now, those of you that follow the channel and those of you that follow this kind of technology are aware that it has been a boring year, especially because we haven't had new hardware to push up this kind of device. And that doesn't mean that there weren't a lot of Android TV boxes released. There were, we have tested over 50 boxes just this year. The issue is that most of them, unfortunately, have a problem here and they're limiting the best experience that we users can take out of these devices. So what we are going to do today is to talk about these and highlight my favorite features on each one of them but for the full review I will leave some links down below where I will show the advantages and disadvantages of every single device that we are going to talk today. And having in mind that there's no new hardware until late 2018, beginning of 2019, it's a no surprise that some of you guys will see some of these boxes that appeared on my previous uh, best Android TV boxes selection. And that being said, let's start with the NVIDIA Shield TV, both versions 2016 and 2017, which basically share the same hardware. And the NVIDIA Shield TV is still is the best and fastest Android TV box available on the market right now. It's running Android TV OS, which has advantages and disadvantages, as you have seen before. And it's the only box available on the market in terms of Android TV boxes, of course, which is capable of running a Plex server. It also has an exclusive service, which is the GeForce Now NVIDIA service, which is a service similar to Netflix, but instead of movies, we can play games. Now, have in mind that this is not game streaming because game streaming, which is playing PC games on an Android TV box, we can achieve that with every single device that we have seen here. And of course, with other devices that we have seen on the past as well. But basically, if you want the fastest experience and if you want this kind of exclusive service that the NVIDIA Shield has, then this will be the way to go. On the other hand, for those of you that are looking for an Android TV OS experience, but at a much lower cost, then the Mi Box 3 is still is the best option to go. Now, have in mind that Xiaomi has several boxes named Mi Box. Only one is the international version, which is the best option for us non-Chinese speakers. And it's the one that I've got right over here. I will leave a link down below and we can get the Android TV OS on a budget. It's capable of doing almost everything that the NVIDIA Shield TV does, but at a much lower cost. Now, in terms of performance overall, it's lower as expected than the Shield, but as a multimedia device, works just great. Now, there are some limitations that I did talk in depth on my full review, so I will leave a link down below so that you guys can take a look, see the advantages and disadvantages, and then at the end of the day, just make your choice depending on your needs. Next, we have the Minix U9H right over here, which was also released in 2017. But guys, guess what? It still is the best pure Android TV box available on the market right now. It runs pure Android, which also has advantages advantages and disadvantages as we have seen but one of the biggest advantages is that we can access the full play store now it's capable of playing any video format and power enough to play any available game on the play store and also it's one of the best experience that i had in terms of game streaming. And besides being able to run pure Android, thanks to the huge community uh, around the Minix brand, at this moment we can also run Android TV OS, which is just great to have this option. So we can have the Minix U9H uh, with pure Android or Android TV OS, similar to the NVIDIA Shields and the Mi Box 3, but with a superior performance than the Mi Box 3 in this particular case. But in my opinion, the best of all is not running pure Android or Android TV OS, it's the choice itself. Now, I've done a couple of videos showing how to install Android TV OS and then how to reverse back to pure Android. So guys, just take a look down below 
below at some links and you will have all the info necessary to make your choice. Now, one other great device right over here is the WeTech Blade 2. Now, this device, in my opinion, is targeted at the TV experience. For someone looking to connect their cable or satellite services and centralize everything on a single box, then this box is one of the best choices. It runs pure Android and it is, as I said, a device targeted at the TV experience. In terms of performance, it is on the same level of the Mi Box 3, a little bit inferior to the Minix U9H, and it's the only box on the market that has a web interface and that we can control it on any computer at the distance which might be very useful. And finally, in terms of my selection for Android TV boxes, we also have the Kardash Vim2 Max, which was the latest machine released in this group right over here. But just to show you an example, it's using exactly the same SOC or CPU for those of you that are new to this world than the Minix U9H, which was released back in 2017. But my selection of the Kardash Vim2 comes not at its performance, but the freedom to use several Several operating systems. We can use pure Android, Android TV OS or Linux and we can do a really cool thing which is dual boot system giving us a lot of freedom and we can use on the same machine for example Android and Linux. Now more details on my full review down below and also I've recorded a couple of video tutorials showing how to install uh, several operating systems on this machine giving us a lot more freedom. So guys feel free to check down below and take advantages of all the experience that we have shared here on the channel so that at the end of the day you can make a educated purchase and have fun with your chosen device. Now as I said before these are the best Android TV boxes available on the market today and they will be so until the end of 2018 early 2019 when new hardware comes to the table and then the brands can push up new devices. Nonetheless, this is not the only option that we have in terms of the TV experience. I will give you an example which is one of the devices that I really enjoy which is the GPD XD and GPD XD Plus which basically it's a portable gaming device that we can use as a portable device but as I showed on previous videos when connected to a TV it will give us a great experience similar to a Android TV box. And also for those of you that are not Android fans we have a great option which are the mini Windows 10 computers which if we think about it and if we enjoy Windows over Android then they will give us a great experience. Of course it has advantages and disadvantages like everything in life but one thing that I would suggest is that if we decide on a Windows 10 mini computer then I strongly suggest the W10 gyro remote that we have seen a few weeks ago that completely changes our experience of a Windows 10 computer connected to a TV. And basically that is it guys. There are other boxes on the market that you may find them useful especially if you are on a really tight budget but one thing is that these are the best ones available on the market. Nonetheless one really important message that I always tend to pass to that side of the screen is regardless of the device that we get for ourselves the most important thing is that we take the full advantage of it and we have a great time and fun using it. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.